Hi, Dr. Marlene here, PT. I'm here to talk about splat nases and how you can use it for telehealth. So, um, right now I'm using Zoom and what you can do depending on the platform that you use and if it has annotation or not. So I think it works best if you do have the capability to hand control over to the child to annotate, to work on those fine motor skills, trying to stay within the lines and those visual motor skills to make their way through the maze. So first, let's see here. There we go. I'm going to annotate, pick a line. I'm going to pick a line to draw with. So your patient would start and then, oops, they got to a splat. The total number of dots that should be, sh that there are under the splat and showing are 11. So there's 11 total, but two are showing. So they would need to let you know that there is, what, nine <laughs> underneath the splat since two are showing. They have to come up with the right answer to make their way down. Okay, 15 but four are showing, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. So there's 11 under the splat. So not only that, they're also working on their math skills, which is helpful for homeschooling and it makes it fun with the splats. So this is why I like these. It's really helped my children have fun working on their fine motor skills to make it, um, and learning too, because we're homeschooling. So I'm trying to do both. They hate writing. I'm a PT, but I've been listening to all my OT friends and seeing different things. And so I'm trying to combine things that I've learned from my peers and um, things that we're doing in school. So that's how I came up with this. Um, but the thing is, when you make your purchase and you get a PDF, if you're doing it via telehealth on your screen, then you can't see the whole puzzle. So what I had to do in order to use this, um, let me clear that annotation. They're all drawings. Let me exit out of this. No longer annotating. Okay. So in order to um, get it to where it worked best for telehealth, um, because see like this, if you annotate and then you move it, just like you saw the lines when I did the maze the last time, like it doesn't move with the maze. Um, I went to file, export. Oh, right here they have convert to Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Um, maybe since I've been messing it with it a lot, it didn't have it. It had it differently this time. It, it you, so it's either going to say export, and then you can turn it into a PowerPoint, or you'll just see convert to PowerPoint, and you can click there. So that is, um, I used the PowerPoint to do the, ma the maze when I first came on, and that is how you would use it for telehealth purposes. I think I accidentally ah, closed out. Oh, there it is. Um, you could also screenshot it and then put it in Google Slides. If you like Google Slides better, maybe it has a little bit of a different view. Um, so those are just some ideas on how you can use flat mazes for telehealth. I hope that this was helpful. Have a great day.